Hey everyone, this is Mastermind278 here with the Motorola Click XT. I'm going to show you guys a ROM that's uh, been out for a little while. It's called Project Oust. It's created by DJ Ghost 7 and Phoenix Song 6. It is running Android 2.3.4, which is gingerbread. Uh, the nice thing about this it is that it is an Oust ROM, so it's an Android open source project. Pretty much you're running a vanilla version of Android on your Motorola Click XT. Um, from what I've read, it has pretty good battery life and it is pretty snappy from what I've tested. So I'm just going to show you guys a quick demo here. So this is, you know, your standard lock screen and you can swipe to unlock. First thing you're going to notice is our launcher here. It is our standard vanilla uh, launcher. So, as you can see, it's actually pretty responsive. Um, we load up the launcher here. You can see all the apps that are coming in here, and it's pretty smooth. I haven't really done any modifications. The only things I've actually installed were the Google Apps, which you do have to download uh, as a separate file, and um, the that information is found on my, my mobile. So as you can see, it is pretty good here. Um, let's go back to the home. I'm just going to show you guys a little bit about the launcher so everybody cares about widgets. So you're just going to have your standard uh, Android widgets. So you have your clock, your calendar, your home screen tips, your market, music, and all that good stuff that you'd get uh, from a standard Android. Um, our phone here, let's load that up. This was the first time me loading it in a, in a while, so it's a little slower, but trust me, it actually gets really fast. Let's do 611 here. And as you can see, you know, it's your standard Android. Sound coming out perfectly. Proximity sensor perfect. Speaker, non speaker working fine. Let's end that call there. Alright, um, so if I load that up now, as you can see, it's definitely a lot faster. Um, let's load up to the browser, as you can see. You know, we're pretty much started here. Let's load up something to test. Um, uh, let's just do click XT. a little harder to type when you're on a stand, but it's okay. And let's load up the developer Motorola site just to show you guys uh, how that works and how the browsing works on this phone. Um, like I said, it's pretty stable. From what I've tested so far, I've had this ROM for, for a couple of days now, testing it out. As you can see, it loaded up pretty quick. And as you can see, pinch to zoom does work. And unfortunately, that's our little phone there, 528 megahertz. So pinch to zoom does work. Um, and it's pretty smooth there. Um, market, again, you do need to install the Google Apps. Um, if you load up the market there, you get the new market. And as you can see, the market does work. You know, I can go to my apps here, and you're going to see what, what's been downloaded so far or whatever. Um, it works just fine. It'll download perfectly. Haven't had any issues with that. Um, let's see. Uh, the camera does work also. I'm just going to load it up for you guys to take a quick look. As you can see, flash right there. And that works just fine. And we can do a video too. Maybe we can't do a video right now. There you go. Just didn't like that other orientation. Okay, we are recording a video on the Click XT. And let's 
play it back. As you can see, it records videos. It, you know, the camera works just totally fine there. Um, ringer volume, ringer volume. Every, you know, the color scheme is you know your standard uh, Alps color stream, uh, color scheme. Sorry about that. Uh, what else is there to say? I mean, it's it's a really stable ROM from what I've tested so far. Uh, the developers are planning on making some updates to it. Um, they should be coming out uh, pr pretty soon, from my understanding. Um, I mean, like I said, it works really well. It's pretty pretty fast. It's I would say it's one of the fastest uh, gingerbreads. And, um, yeah, it's a great ROM. One of the things that I was told that doesn't work is the live wallpapers. Um, oddly enough... When I do try it on on the version that I'm running, um, they do partially load. So I will show you guys that they do partially load. Um, I haven't downloaded any special ones. I'm just going to download the map ones here and set wallpaper. So it does take a little while to actually um, load, but here's the maps wallpaper, and as you can see. Um, probably can't see very well. There you go. The clouds are moving, so you know it is a cloudy, rainy day around here. But I mean, this live wallpaper is working. Um, as you can see, you know the clouds are slightly moving there. Um, I can double-click there and zoom in. Um, the thing is with the live wallpaper is that it definitely does slow down the phone a bit um, especially when you're switching home screens as you can see it's a little bit more laggy but it's actually not too horrible uh, comparing to some of the other 2.1 ROMs that we have tried uh, live wallpapers this is definitely really great because it actually runs pretty smoothly uh, for with a wa live wallpaper. Nonetheless, this is a quick video review on Project ASP um, by DJ Ghost 7 as well as Phoenix Song 6. Um, you can download this ROM from modmymobile.com. There will be links there. And you can also download the Google Apps um, from there, I believe, and it should have a link there. And that way you're able to have your market and all the other Google applications. Like I said, if you're looking for a Google uh, experience, this would probably be a great ROM for that. Like, it's pretty much vanilla, runs pretty fast, and it just works right. Like I said, these, installing these ROMs is pretty straightforward through the Clock Mod Works recovery. And hopefully you guys can check it out and enjoy it. Well, this is Mastermind7A. Have a great day.